to add your passports for your students onto your Google Classroom so that they can access them from home uh, or from in your tutor time. So when you come to the PSHE website, this is what it looks like and you can either get to the modules by clicking here and clicking on module one or by scrolling down to the bottom and there's a link just there. So that takes you to module one's main page and you'll see on this page, it's not finished at this moment in time, but you'll see you've got your option for your uh, printable passport and for your online version. So the difference of the online version is it's on slides and students can actually zoom in and type into the boxes, whereas this one will need to be printed. So if you click on this, it will take you to a page. This doesn't mean it's gone wrong. You need to click on make a copy uh, so that you can edit it if you want to and you're not affecting anyone else's in the UTC's uh, passports. So if you click on this one, it will appear just as it will appear to the students in your class. And it's important you share this with them through another way, not through this link because uh, every time they'll open it, it will be very different. So if you get rid of the copy of in the name, and you can put your tutor group in, I'm just going to put example, you can put your name in there, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, so I've put that in there. Oh, sorry, little text message. Uh, then you can click on uh, the thing here to put it into uh, a folder, um, I've got a folder there called Classroom, so I'm just going to move it into that um, just for in a minute. So this does assume that you already have set up your Google Classroom and know how to do it. So I'm going to go straight into my classroom now. This is my example one, um, so I've not got anything in it yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I'm going to create an assignment. Um, thank you, notification. I'm going to put my title in as a Passport module one it's up to you whether you want to put uh, your instructions whether you want to put the due date anything like that um, and then I'm going to click on my little Google Drive symbol so I'll show you that symbol again so that's my Google Drive symbol there and it'll give me my recent items so it should actually come up as the last item on the list anyway uh, so I'm going to click add. If not, you can search Google Drive. I'm going to click add there. Um, thank you. And then this is quite critical because you want students to be able to have a copy each. So that means every time they sign in, they will have a copy of the document with their own name on that they can add and they don't need to re-download it. This is going to be the one that they use for the whole module. So I'm going to click make a copy for each student. And I'm going to click Assign. And it's assigning it. And it is as simple as that. Um, so if you wanted to look at another copy on how to actually use uh, the document as a student, I'll show you that one in just a minute. But there you go. Thank you.